Jamaica is not as hungry as they used to be. Been there, one that. Remember, we saw that about Shelly and Fraser Price. We can say that about Jamaica as well. The 100 meter woman, been there, one that. 200 meter woman, been there, one that. 2004, Veronica Campbell, been there, one that. 2008, Veronica Campbell, been there, one that. 2008 and, and 12, Veronica Campbell, a silver medal behind Alyssa Felix, been there, one again. 2016, Ilian Thompson Hira, been there, one that. 2021, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Rewrite the Narrative, where it's okay to be curious. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and drop a comment. Honestly, I don't know where to start. Not today. Today, I don't know where to start, but I'm going to get there. Jamaica at the Paris Olympics opened a lot of eyes. There are so many things that we can take away from this. A lot of things we could take away that this probably is Jamaica's worst Olympics. This is, uh, we got more injuries than medal. Lots of stuff. But one thing for sure I found out. Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt name will continuously come up. Usain Bolt. A lot of people don't say Elaine Tamsahira, but Elaine Tamsahira is one of Jamaica's greatest treasures where athletics is concerned. And this is a, this is the point I want to make. Jamaica had been complacent and the Paris Olympics showed it. We can make all the excuses that we want to make. Jamaica, this was the worst Olympics, all of that. But it showed that Jamaica had been complacent. And Jamaica used the Usain and the Shelley and Fraser Price, the Elaine Thompson era, Johan Blake and Veronica Campbell medals as much as they could. They can't use it anymore. It's over. They can't use it anymore. This is an example that Jamaica had been good because of five athletes. Yes, five. You may not hear this anywhere before, but five athletes. We are using the tradition or the memory of five athletes to represent Jamaica, past, present and future. What we saw at the Paris Olympics game, and we keep on remembering how great Jamaica is, is because of what Usain Bolt did. Usain Bolt brought home three gold medals for Jamaica. If you think back in the sprints, you'll never remember another time when another man from Jamaica brought home gold medal. Kishane Thompson had a very good opportunity, very close, almost, almost happened. We know the circumstances behind that. Johan Blake, the greatness that Johan Blake brought to Jamaica was only overshadowed by Usain Bolt. Only Usain Bolt, nobody else. We have to put some respect on Johan's Blake, Johan Blake's name. Johan Blake, second fastest man in history, 100-200. Respect on Johan Blake's name. Jamaica... It's really not as good as we really thought. No, we are not. We have very good athletes at the junior level and stuff, but transitioning to the to the world stage without what you saying bolt? Jamaica pitiful, woeful. Without Elaine Thompson Hira, Shelly and Fraser Price. And even if you want to say Sherika Jackson, woeful, pitiful. But we also have we really should remember that. As a unit, Jamaica is really not strong. Took the Shelly and Fraser Price out of the mix. Took Sherika Jackson out of the mill, the mix. And it literally fell apart and crumbled. Jamaica is really good, but not as good as we thought. Not as good as we thought. And I wanted to put this into perspective. Because Jamaica had become complacent. Jamaica is not as hungry as they used to be. Been there, one that. Remember, we saw that about Shelly and Fraser Price. We can say that about Jamaica as well. The 100 meter woman, been there, won that. 200 meter woman, been there, won that. 2004, Veronica Campbell, been there, won that. 2008, Veronica Campbell, been there, won that. 2008 and, and 12, Veronica Campbell, a silver medal behind Alyssa Felix, been there, won again. 2016, Elaine Thompson Hira, been there, won that. 2021, uh, Elaine Thompson Hira been there one that and in the 100 meter you saw the history 2008 Shelly and Fraser Price been there one that 2012 Shelly and Fraser Price been there one that 2016 Elaine Thompson Hira been there one that 2021 uh, Elaine Thompson Hira been there one that double up for Elaine triple up for Usain 
These are the athletes that made Jamaica relevant. Only these athletes. Not all athletes. These are the athletes. So Jamaica, getting to that point where they are so complacent. The J3A and the Jamaica Olympic Association, getting to that point where they feel like they had arrived. A rude awakening. This Paris Olympics, we had a rude awakening. You get, Jamaica is not as hungry as they used to be. Very complacent. They don't want it as much as the other countries in the world. Too complacent. So, somebody have to say it. Jamaica, as a unit, not as good as we thought. We saw the field events starting to put some, put some, together some good events. And we should take notice that they are hungrier than those sprinters. The field event are hungrier than the sprint event. We saw Usain Bolt also in an interview with Asafa Powell. He said that the youngsters coming into the sports, they are getting sponsorship at an early age. As a result, the hunger is taken out. These athletes coming out of high school, sometimes already getting a, a, a sponsorship deal. They lost the passion. They lost the drive because they got paid already. For them, those older athletes, they had to work to get paid. They had the pride of beating somebody else on their shoulder. No, these athletes are part of a big brand. Part of a Puma, part of a Adidas camp, part of a Nike camp. They are no longer a national treasure. They are a Nike athlete, a Puma athlete, an Adidas athlete. No longer the national treasure. The pride had been snuffed out of it for Jamaica. You'll see a lot of the athletes who are not a part of the brands, the, who, have, who don't have a sponsorship deal yet, making an effort, a valiant effort, just so that they can get into the big leagues with the big dogs. Some of the conversations surrounding the absence of some of the bigger name athletes, in the case with Shelly and Fraser Price, some people are saying that if she was as hungry as she was previously, she might have showed up for that race. The, the speculation originally was that she did not get in through the gates and she didn't get enough time to warm up as, as a result she pulled out. But then the conversation was that she got injured. Ultimately, she did not participate in the 100 meter semifinals, therefore wouldn't have advanced to the finals, but didn't par participate in the 4x1. Same for Sharika. Sharika showed up in Paris. But did not participate in any event. It almost seems like she did not even train. And from the understanding, it's that you still get paid if you show up. Is this beneficial to the country? I think it is very beneficial to the athlete. They put the work in. They, they, they work very hard to get where they are. But if that is the case, then the passion is not there. The drive is not there. And the Jamaicans have um, had arrived. But Brand Jamaica makes you relative. Uh, Brand Jamaica makes the athlete relevant. If Brand Jamaica is not flying the flag as high as it could, then the athlete will not be as marketable as they could. That's what I think. Brand Jamaica. I asked the question in a, in a different video. Why Jamaica? Why is it that so many people, whether they're a politician, whether they're an actor, whether they're an athlete, why is it so important to tie your roots back to Jamaica? I'm not saying that you should not. If you are, you are. But what makes Jamaica so attractive? Why is it such a marketable place? Right? Why? Why is it that Jamaica in culture, music, sports, and food can compete on the world stage and other people would be happy to call themselves Jamaica. Some of us need to understand the level of the level of quality that Jamaica brings to the table. Just by being Jamaican, it's quality. Athletes from all over the world, sports um, people from all over the world, actors, politicians, they could choose Europe. They could choose Africa. They could choose the Middle East. They choose a little island in Jamaica to tie their heritage to, tie their pride and joy. And a lot of us Jamaicans, 
We are taking this thing for granted. The fans are passionate. To some extent, track and field have more passionate fans than administrators. The administrators are failing the athletes. It's clear. It's obvious that they are failing the athletes. And then after failing the athletes, it seems like they make an attempt to muzzle them. They try to give them a gag order. Say less. Say nothing at all. These are the things that it is. It, it, it had become clear.